we have um, a NASCAR die cast here. My first one that I bought. This shelf was put up for multiple reasons, and one of them was to house NASCAR die casts. Uh, the jersey buying is going to be halted for a little bit because I'm going to buy uh, a few die casts, but not a ton, so I don't like think that I'm done with jerseys. I'm still going to collect jerseys. It's just going to get some die casts on the side every once in a while because uh, it's fun. I like them. They're cool. Where is, where is this? Like, ever since I was really young i feel like every guy is kind of like this ever since we're really young like we just kind of inherently like cars so yeah i guess it's just part of that it's just liking cars me i like chevys i like camaros and corvettes so that's part of the reason why i chose to like chase elliott and kyle larson is because they drove camaros i bought it from a very uh popular die cast seller on ebay that well it's not like very popular one that I see a lot of people buying from, and I didn't notice that at the time, but... Ooh, here it is. Get the packing peanuts out of it. There it is. We're going to see how it good is. Uh, see how it is. One for nine bucks. Yep. Here it is, Chase Elliott's championship die cast. And next I'm going to buy is a Kyle Larson. So yeah, I am going to open it, but I'm going to keep all of the packaging and I'm not going to rip anything. Because actually it doesn't have any tape on it. So it'd be really, if I wanted to like resell it, it, it would be pretty easy to do. Me taking it out of the packaging is not going to damage the value that much. Maybe if I can get it out. Please. Come out. Chase Elliott, why do you have to be so difficult? Just come out of the thing. Give me a second. There, we got it unpackaged without really damaging it all that much. I don't plan on reselling these, but since it's a limited edition, I kind of just want to keep everything nice. I don't know, I'm weird like that. Huh. And take this out. Now, for those of you who do not collect die casts, probably don't know, but... The makers of this, yep, Lionel, yep, uh, do not have the greatest of quality control. Um, so their cars will sometimes be damaged. So we're going to look at this, make sure I got one of the better ones. there make sure I got one of the better ones so I'm gonna look at this real quick and yeah I mean for the most part for Lionel I say it's decent and look at the back there it all focus focus please no don't lock on the that there's that side there's the front really the big thing is there's a few mess ups there's uh i believe right there there is a mess up with the wrap if it'll focus right around there and then on the b post well it wouldn't be the b post that's b. right here there's some mess ups it's decent it's uh, it's better than what I've seen other people's look like. I like it. I, well, I didn't look at the tiles, tires. 
tires look fine. Yeah, it looks decent. And its home will be right there. And proceeding it will be Kyle Larson and then probably Chase Elliott's Hooters edition. And the Hooters one I'm getting purely because my mom doesn't like Hooters. So I am going to get a Hooters uh, paint scheme. And if I can't find a Chase Elliott one, I'll just get an Alan Kulicki one because he's the guy that originally had it. Uh, great driver. I like him. Sadly did pass away. Uh, in 1993, I believe. But, yeah. I'm going to get a Hooters car eventually. But, yeah. There is Chase Elliott. Just vibing. I don't know if you guys can really see that. But, yeah. It'll be there in the background of videos. So, I will see you guys next time when the Tigers play later today. Um, so, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. As always, I'm not funny. And, I hope you enjoyed. Love on each other, as in...